To insert the BD elevation probe into the driver, follow one of the two options shown. Option 1. While the probe is in the tray packaging, align the driver with the corresponding probe tabs and sample container opening. And slide the driver forward to lock into place. The sample button flashes green. Touch it to synchronize the probe with the driver. The device is ready to use. Option 2. Remove the probe from the package using an aseptic technique by grasping the probe from below, then carefully align probe tabs and sample container with corresponding driver slots and firmly slide the probe back to lock into place. Regardless of the method used, confirm the probe rear tab is locked into the driver after loading. The white locking tab should be completely under the metal bar. You will hear a click when it's in the correct position. Once the probe is attached to the driver, the sample button flashes green. Touch it to synchronize the probe with the driver. The device is ready to use. The sample container may be removed before or after the BD elevation probe is removed from the driver. Option 1. Turn the sample container counterclockwise to remove from the driver. Remove probe from the driver by pressing down on the locking tab, sliding probe cover completely forward, then pulling probe straight up from the driver. Option 2. Keep the sample container in place. Remove probe from the driver by pressing down on the locking tab, sliding probe cover completely forward, then pulling probe straight up from the driver. Turn the sample container counterclockwise to detach it from the probe. Sample container opens by lightly pressing the sides inward and hinging it open. Remove the tissue samples from the sample container by hinging it open. If additional samples are required, replace the sample container into the device by turning clockwise to lock it into place. Ensure the sample container is secure before requiring additional samples. Check for remaining samples in the sample container tank. Prior to removing the BD elevation probe from the breast, the support cannula may be detached and remain in the breast to retain a track to the biopsy site to place a tissue marker. To remove the support cannula from the probe, depress the coaxial arm and twist the coaxial hub. If needed, the probe can be reinserted into the coaxial support cannula and locked in place. Prime Pierce optional function is intended for the user to advance the needle 2 cm 20 mm, into the breast and or lesion. On pressing the Prime Pierce function button, a motor pulls back against two parallel springs. On pressing the button again, the motor releases the springs to pierce. The needle is advanced 2 cm 20 mm. Sampling is done by touching the sample button. Simply rotate the driver to orientate the notch as needed for additional sample collection. After each use, wipe the BD elevation driver with a validated product or cloth dampened with water to remove any excess blood or fluids present on the device.
pay particular attention to the buttons and indicators, locking tab, LED lights, internal gears, sample container slot and sides of the driver. The driver must be dry before placing in the wireless charging stand. The probe, support cannula, sample container and any other BD elevation accessory are for single use only. After each use, the BD elevation driver should remain in the charging stand likewise when not in use.